Is that a bear? Is it Chewbacca? Nope, it's a Newfoundland dog. Coming from the far north, Newfoundland Island of Canada. They're one of the largest dog breeds in the world, bred for carting and hauling side by side with sailors. These powerful selfless dogs heroically rescued passengers from drowning and have kept their caring nature in great loyalty to this day. From heroes to one of the best family companions, as nothing good comes without a challenge. Giant dogs, almost twice your size, howling, drooling, and shedding like it's their job. Are they worth the trouble? What's it like to own a Newfoundland dog? And how about nine? In this episode, 10 questions for a Newfoundland dog owner. Hi, I'm Mackenzie, and I'm currently a dog mom to nine Newfoundlands, who I call my Newf crew. This is Duncan, he's three. I grew up with my first Newfoundland, Huckleberry, in the 90s, and he was the best dog ever. Newfoundlands have stolen my heart with their extraordinarily kind souls, gentle temperament, and laid back lifestyle. How big do Newfoundlands get? People often assume that Newfoundlands weigh upwards of 200 pounds because of their appearance and big fluffy coats. But the average adult male Newfoundland typically weighs between 120 to 150 pounds. And adult females are usually between 100 to 120 pounds. Duncan is about 145 to 150 pounds. I try really hard to keep my dogs lean. Maintaining a healthy weight is very important because Newfoundlands are prone to orthopedic issues and any extra weight drastically increases the likelihood of an injury. Are Newfoundlands dangerous? What's their personality like? Amicability is a hallmark of the Newfoundland breed. It is rare for a Newfoundland to be aggressive as they are known to be very gentle and sweet. However, a Newfoundland can be dangerous if you are not careful. Due to their size and sometimes clumsy demeanor, they could easily knock over a young child or elderly person, resulting in injury. Some Newfs are more outwardly affectionate than others, but they truly want nothing more than to just be around their people. As a large breed, are they hard to manage and how trainable are they? Newfoundlands are known for being docile, but they still have their moments. While they are generally well-intentioned, they can be clumsy and a bit reckless. Fortunately, they are people pleasers. They are smart and intuitive, but at the same time, they can be very stubborn. So it's imperative to start training as early as possible. Since they are so sensitive, I recommend positive reinforcement training classes. It really helps you to learn to communicate better. With appropriate training, they can be well-behaved and very obedient. How energetic are Newfoundlands, and how much exercise do they require a day? Newfoundlands are working dogs. They are known for doing jobs like pulling carts or water rescue. While these take a lot of effort, the Newfoundland breed is not known for being very energetic. Adults will lay around much of the day if allowed, so they need an owner who is willing to ensure that they get exercise each day. Exercise is especially important as they go through their teenager phase. There are several months of adolescence where they can get rowdy and really need a positive outlet for their energy. Big dogs can cause a lot of damage when they get bored. Walking, swimming, training, and even just playing in the backyard are all great methods of exercise. Is swimming essential to this breed and can they do just as well with other exercises? I've never known a Newfoundland that didn't love water. I wouldn't say swimming is essential to life with a Newfoundland, as they can exercise in other ways, but it certainly is preferred. Swimming is a wonderful way for Newfoundlands to exercise without risking impact to their joint. If you are able to introduce them to water early and take them often, do it. It doesn't need to be a big body of water. If you live in the countryside, most lakes or swimming pools will do. Some cities even have businesses where you can have a doggy pool party. What are the most common health problems with Newfoundlands and how do we prevent it? Newfoundlands are prone to heart conditions, orthopedic issues, cancers, bloat, cystinuria, ACL tears, arthritis, and allergies, to name a few. Educate yourself on preventable disorders and environmental issues. Don't overexercise or overfeed young puppies. Simple things like reducing steps and slippery surfaces can help your dog avoid a lot of pain and suffering. It is also recommended to wait until the Newfoundland's growth plates have closed before spaying and neutering. Are Newfoundlands suitable for warm climates? 
Newfoundlands are double coated and wholeheartedly prefer colder climates. After all, they are named after the Canadian province, Newfoundland. One of the best things you can do to help your newf beat the heat is to keep them well groomed. Removing the loose, dead undercoat allows air to move more freely across their skin and can help prevent them from overheating. In warmer climates, water and air conditioning are crucial to keeping your Newfoundland happy. Whether it's a pool, a hose, or a bucket to dunk their faces in, they'll appreciate anything that helps them cool off. What are some challenges that come with adopting this breed? One of the biggest challenges to Newfoundland ownership is keeping up with the grooming. It is critical to get your pup accustomed to being groomed at a young age and to brush them frequently. The teenager or adolescent phase can be really difficult for a lot of families. They're big, rambunctious, and conveniently develop selective hearing. Stay consistent with exercise and training. Your gentle floof will be back with maturity, I promise. And of course you can't forget those iconic Newfoundland jewel strings. What's your advice for a Newfoundland owner? If you're interested in bringing a Newfoundland into your home, take your time and research first. Meet Newfoundlands in real life, talk with their owners, and get to know the dogs. If you're looking for a puppy from a breeder, find one that is willing to build a relationship with you. You're going to have questions or concerns down the road, and they're the best resources in those situations. Newfoundlands can fit into a wide variety of lifestyles. Speak with your breeder or rescue to find out if they have a Newfoundland with a personality that will match your need. How did your Newfoundlands change your life? I've known Newfoundlands my whole life, but it wasn't until 2016 that I realized what these dogs would do for me. My mom was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. I had to quit my job to be her caregiver, and together we worked on fulfilling a dream she had of starting our own therapy dog organization. Newfoundlands were not just something for my mom and I to bond over, but they were the fuel that kept me going after she passed away. They make me smile when I need it most, and we try to spread some of that joy over social media. You can check out the rest of the gang at the Newf Crew and say hi. All right, that's the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe below. Bye!